Look at the chief. That's so pretty. <laughs> what the heck? That's, That's sick. So nice. We're Eric and Sarah. For the past year, we've been traveling internationally, visiting some of the world's most beautiful destinations. Now we're back home in Canada, living in our 1980s camper van named Board the Ford. With world-renowned beauty on our doorstep, we're traveling again. But this time, we're in our home province of British Columbia. Known for its mountains, ocean, wildlife, and diverse culture, British Columbia is one of the most beautiful places in the world. We even have the license plate to show for it. <laughs> our goal is to show you the best of BC and give you a reason to come see it yourself. Subscribe to follow along. Good morning. We are so excited to show you Squamish today, but I think I might even be more excited to show you the drive to Squamish. Squamish is only about an hour from Vancouver, but the ride there is so beautiful. It goes along what's called the Sea to Sky Highway, which I think is maybe the most beautiful highway in all of Canada. So we're really excited to show you guys that. We're fueled up. We uh, got our Tim Hortons, of course. And so let's buckle up and hit the road. <laughs> As with any good BC highway, there's always so many cool places to stop. And so we're actually stopped here at Porto Cove and it is gorgeous. I can't believe I've actually never even stopped here. It smells amazing, like the ocean. I feel like I'm always just trying to get to these different places just like in one shot, like I go to Squamish or Whistler. But I, uh, yeah, I'm really happy we actually have time to just stop here and I feel like why would I not stop here? This is incredible. <laughs> Welcome to Squamish. <laughs> Squamish is known for all the outdoor activities you can do here, but it does have a very classic downtown area, which is where we are right now. But what makes Squamish's downtown really cool is there is this iconic mountain called the Chief, which kind of looms over the downtown and it's so beautiful. That's right. So we're just down here to enjoy the sights. Also, <laughs> there's lots of different shops and restaurants, coffee, gelato, and lots of art actually. Lots of color here in downtown, lots of murals, which is just, uh, just adds to the whole experience. So we're gonna go and grab some food and then we'll be on to our next activity. There's definitely lots of hiking and biking and mountain climbing to be done here in Squamish. So we're actually just here at the Smoke Bluffs and it's just a nice little hike kind of closer to town. So we're just walking up and there's all these different rock climbing walls and uh, I shouldn't even call them walls. They're actually just full on mountains that people are climbing. And uh, I think maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just try one. You got it. Rock climber. <laughs> wow, I'm actually impressed. You almost made it one step. Made it one step. <laughs> this is like the smallest rock there is here. <laughs> Maybe we should get into climbing. No, that's all you get. <laughs> it's respect though. This is insane. Look at this. Look at the chief. That's so pretty. <laughs> what the heck? That's, That's sick. So nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. What a view, Sarah. This is crazy. 
and we're gonna get a perfect sunset here. Yay! Yay! We definitely found the best sunset spot. Oh, this is so <laughs> nice. I love this. There's so many different rock bluffs that you can go on in this yeah. mountain, but there's no one at this one, so That's right. this is the best That's one. That's great. <laughs> Absolute beauty view. <laughs> All of Squamish right there. The chief right behind us. This is just sick. Mm -hmm. And all to ourselves. All to ourselves. Nobody's here. Just how we like it. <laughs> it's perfect. Good morning again. We are back in downtown and we're actually just gonna go get some coffee from our favorite spot. And Box donuts. And Oak. <laughs> Box and Oak. Let's do it. <laughs> A donut you get. <laughs> Maple oh. walnut, baby. Yum. Sick. Wow, that thing looks moist. Yeah, this is like it's like falling apart in my hand. It's mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's a donut. Oh, you don't like close-up shots? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you. I'm yeah, so sorry. <laughs> We're on our way to our next stop, which is the Sea to Sky Gondola. But Eric and I were just chatting about how we feel kind of bad when we go to these cities that we can't do all of the things. Like Squamish and every city we've been to is such a cool place and there's always so many things to do, but we can we can only fit in so much into like a 15 minute video. Otherwise the video would be like an hour or two hours long if we actually did all of the things we wanted to do in every place. So if you have been to Squamish or you live in Squamish and have recommendations for other travelers, please comment them below. It would be really cool if the comment section was just an awesome resource for other travelers to kind of hear other things there are to do in Squamish too because there are so many things to do here. So please do that right now if you have other recommendations for different travelers coming through this town. Right on, so we're here at the Sea to Sky Gondola and the tickets here are for just a day pass is like $62, which is crazy. If you actually get a day pass, you can actually get a, a, an annual pass as well if you think you're going to be coming back here multiple times. Uh, the, the day pass is $62, but an annual pass, I believe, is $150. $189. $189. There you go. So if you use it three times, you're already paid up. So if you're in the Vancouver area and you come to the Sea to Sky Gondola or if you're in Squamish two or three times a year, it's like, I don't know, to me, I think that's a no-brainer. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Woo! This is so weird. The last time we were filming something like this, we were in Ecuador. This is like our first week of vlogging. We were on the telephone. Yeah, that's film. like a year and a half ago. That feels so weird. This Look is how like far we've come. A random full circle event for me. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Should I reenact the thumbnail? Yeah, please Just do. Like, <laughs> I think you were more like in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah and well, shorter yeah. hair. Was Can I? you chop your hair off Wait, a little bit? Was I, was I this way? Yeah. No. no I'm pretty sure I was the other way. I'm pretty sure I was the other way. Oh, like, what? My hair was long. Short. And I, shorter. But yeah. like. Your hair was down. Up. And then there was a. We timed it. We took so long to take a picture yeah. because we had to get the gondola we coming through the window. It. it was like this. It was Ready? like. This. It was like <laughs> with a gondola. <laughs> Nailed it. Look how far we've come. Oh, we've come so far. Ecuador. Look at us. Like a long time. Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, but also look at this. Look at Gordy Boy! Gordacious. Hey, man. Gordini. He's looking so cute. The great Gordini. All right. <laughs> look at this view behind you right now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> This is so beautiful. Look at this. 
This is wild. This is crazy. I love this. The water looks so blue right now too. Wow. It's a steep drop. I would say if you're afraid of heights, <laughs> this would probably not be fun. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So right at the top of the gondola, there's the lodge and actually has a restaurant and a cute cafe. So if you want to come and have a nice little treat up here, you can totally do that. But look at the view right at the top of here. This is insane. What? It's so beautiful. It's so blue. Oh, this is just spectacular. So I just realized, I don't think we even actually mentioned, but this is the ocean. This isn't the lake. A lot of people were, so were asking us, oh, can you take a picture of me in front of the lake? It's like, no, 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 this is, this is how sound. It's pretty sweet. So Squamish is literally just right on the ocean, but it's a big kind of sound, actually, technically. So, just so you know. As if going on a High heights gondola wasn't enough. You can go on the suspension yeah. bridge here. Definitely not a place <laughs> if you hate heights. Yeah, maybe but if it I, is beautiful. Maybe if I like jump around. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Lose my glasses over the edge. <laughs> Wow, this is stunning. insane. This is stunning. Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> I know I've been here before, but this is so beautiful. <laughs> this place is crazy. There's so much to see. This is so wild. Although I am realizing that pretty much everything there is to do in the Sea to Sky Gondola requires you not to be afraid of heights. <laughs> Like, yeah, actually. this is pretty gnarly. <laughs> this is pretty wild. <laughs> but absolutely stunning. Wow, this is so beautiful. We've only <laughs> ever been here in the winter before, which is also so amazing. Yeah. It's like a winter wonderland to yeah. walk through the trails. Absolutely. And it's absolutely stunning when everything's covered in snow. Yeah. So definitely try that out too. But wow, this is so beautiful in the summer as well. Oh, I love wow. BC. Me too. <laughs> So we mentioned the Chief a few times and it's a super classic hike to do here in Squamish if you're into that kind of thing. We're not going to do it today because, well, we don't really have time and we got the views up here and I'm not sure we're like fully in shape I for it right now. I don't think I'd be able to hike that right now. <laughs> I think we've been doing a little too much uh, lounging and gourd this summer, but it is a super cool thing to do if you like hiking and the views of Squamish from there are absolutely amazing. So yeah, definitely check that out. So for those of you avid Netflix watchers, you might be thinking, hmm, Squamish looks oddly familiar, even though I've never been there before. And if you watch Virgin River, we're currently at what is Jack's bar in the show Virgin River. And that's probably why you maybe have been thinking that this river looks familiar. All the drone shots pretty much in that show are from Squamish. So we're gonna go and enjoy a nice dinner together at what's actually the Watershed Grill. I told her to say that. I actually am the one who watches. Yeah, I don't watch whatever. it. Eric loves no, that I'm, show. I watch it. Eric watches it without me. That's how we came here. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> as much as I love Virgin River, and I've actually never ever watched an episode, sure. <laughs> the real reason we're here, the real reason that we're here is for the sunset. And we got a perfect spot on the edge this here. This is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> this is so beautiful. Right on. I love it. Let's get some drinks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to 20K. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I'm so proud of us. Yeah, me too. And thank you so much if you continually watch our videos. We really appreciate it. We quite literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. We normally don't celebrate things very much, but this feels like a big moment. So cheers to you.
Thank you for watching. We had so much fun here in Squamish. <laughs> this is a really nice time. And uh, if you haven't seen our Vancouver video, go watch that now. And we'll see you next one. Yeah. <laughs>